Excuse me for this distraction. I have a pain in the neck. But my wife reassured me saying, it's better to have one than be one. <laughs> two, two points to make, very important ones. At a young age, like 55 or 60, it means very different the morning after. <laughs> Com compared to what I call late middle age, like say 78. <laughs> and secondly, by this time, after 39 years pushing on 40 of marriage, everything Ooh. is community property. All our stories are co-owned between my wife and I. <laughs> <laughs> therefore, therefore, I had to seek the consent of my wife. <laughs> and I mentioned the theme morning after, and as soon as I said it, before I said anything else, she looked at me and said, you dare not talk about you know what. <laughs> I said, of course not, my dear. I'm not going to talk about you know what, but, but the other, no, not that too. What will, what will people think? Besides, besides, it's none of their business. Meaning their, meaning yours. And hence, passing the censor of the Pulit Bureau, I bring you a story which is no less exhausting, no less exasperating, and ultimately no less exhilarating and spiritually uplifting with a special meaning as those censored ones. Last winter, last winter, I saw a self-help video and it said that when a man reaches a certain age, he should adopt a hobby and it suggested candle making. <laughs> I, I was inspired. I'm inspired very easily. And, and so, I mentioned it, this to my wife, and she said, as long as you do it in the garage. And she went off to the supermarket. And you see, by then I had assembled all the kit. And you know as well as I do, you cannot make good candles in a garage. <laughs> uh, see, you, 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 need, you, you, need the, you need the right supplies, like uh, the, the, like the right drinks and the TV to watch when the last one. <laughs> so, so I felt that the kitchen come living room space would be ideal and I set up everything, you know, wax and uh, containers and fragrances and everything and I started, I have devilish cunning because I said if I'm already into it, she would say poor thing. Well, let's wait. And then as I, as I got into it, I felt like Michelangelo. <laughs> mixing the paints for Sistine Chapel. Except Michelangelo was not married. <laughs> he did not have to contend with a wife who owned the space. And my wife comes back, takes one look and says, Out! <coughs> that is out of here. I said, My dear, do you know that in 2000 BC, Candles were made in the island of Crete. She said, I will see, watch the same YouTube video. You can make the candles in the island of Crete, but not here. <laughs> I said, you will be proud to know I'm using only soybean wax and not paraffin wax, which is environmentally unsafe. She said, don't change the subject. <laughs> Last year, you had carpentry and you almost chopped off the little finger. You daydream too much and you will be near flames. I do not want you to engage in this thing. Why can't you be like other husbands? Drink six beers, watch TV and doze off in front of TV. And I said, I will do that too. And then, and then there is status quo. There is cold war, we go to bed, and then once she's asleep, I sneak out, 
and I take all my supplies <laughs> and I go to the garage. You wait, wait, I will tell you. And I have all the apparatus plus a beautiful single mount. Single mount is absolutely essential for creative work. <laughs> and I, I spend time or till wee hours of the morning and I create stuff. In the meanwhile, some I remember seeing Hamlet, these things come to me. <laughs> to be or not to be is not the question. He was a bachelor. If you are married, the question is, did I forget to take the garbage out last night? <laughs> I say, I finish it, I sneak back in and sleep. One hour later, my wife wakes up and I ostensibly, sleepily say, you go ahead, my dear, I think I'll sleep some more. She walks in into the living room kitchen area and there, glory be to hallelujah. <laughs> I hear the expected exclamation on morning after. She says, wow. That is beautiful. Oh. When did you make it? You see, I had made candle and lined up on the kitchen counter. And she said, lavender, color, lavender fragrance. I knew lavender was a thing. <laughs> and she says, where did you make it? Not in the kitchen. It is not at all. Oh, I'm the garage. Poor darling, it must have been so cold. <laughs> Michelangelo, eat your heart out, man. <laughs> you neither had a wife for the night before to fight with, nor had a wife to feel all this, hear all this morning after. <laughs> well, I do make candles now in the kitchen. And I do clean up after me, because earlier dialogue, I forget to say that her criticism was that I don't clean up after me. I do clean up after me, occasionally, even though she still claims that I don't know where the dishwashing detergent is. <laughs> <laughs>